ESPN. Yeah, I think they're going to show a lot more games this year, from what I understand. And that's just such a good thing for rugby to be out to more people, to have more choice and uh, go ESPN. Every team wants to win their first game, gets the confidence going and gets the ball rolling. Now, uh, one of no illusions that this weekend's going to be a tough one. Such incredible players as Nick Easter performing on the side against me, then uh, I have to be on top of my game. To, and the team will have to be on top of our games to have a chance of winning. It goes without saying that you want to win the Premiership, you want to win the Heineken Cup. Now, but with that comes the understanding that that's an enormous task. It's not something we think you win easily, and it's just a real work like dogs during the season, one game at a time, and hopefully you'll find yourself in those finals at the end of the year. I think uh, the squad this year is very well balanced, really recruited well. Um, we had a lot of problems with injuries last year, and the, the backup at the time probably didn't do quite as good a job as the guys we've got in this year will be able to. So I'm really happy with the squad we got this year. A few other teams recruit well, so they'll be in the mix. Now, last year our record was worse against the teams at the bottom than it was against the top. So it's that sign of our inconsistency is one of the things we've got to put right. And uh, while we respect them and they're amazing sides, we're happy how we played against them last year, fun enough. It's more the consistency to be able to play against the lower teams that we want to get right this time. I think the same teams tend to come out near the top at the end of it, but it's a difficult road getting there and it gets more difficult every year. The wage cap does help with that. And teams have really developed. Teams are like, for example, Bath for a few years a problem now with, with the new backing, they're going to be, I'm sure, phenomenal. As you saw towards the end of last season, they had a big push. I'm sure some of that confidence came from knowing they were going to be moving places. So teams like that are really coming through all the time. Andy Powell, Rich Horton, Ricky Flutie, Nick Berry, very fantastic scrum off from, from racing, Metro. Um, and a couple of the guys sprinkled there as well. We've got some, some really good squad members coming in, guys who will be starting and guys who will be back up. And it's, I alluded to it earlier about the depth of the squad is so important this year, as, as any year, because people will get injured, people will be playing for England, so you need these guys to come in, do a good job. Now obviously, it's playing on the mind a little bit on the horizons, in the back of your mind, that World Cup's coming up in just over a year. And come uh, the summertime, yeah, it'd be playing in mind hugely. It's like X Factor. All the guys coming in, they slowly cut the squad, whittle it down until you got your 32. And, uh, was it 30? I don't know what these <laughs> So you got your 32, and um, that selection is, and that period of selection is, is, is a tough, kind of tough mental thing, and it's really nerve wracking for everyone to go through. Now, um, the way to get there is not to worry about it too much now. You just want to play well now, get pit for England, and hopefully before you know it, you'll, you'll be in a position where you're flying, flying to New Zealand. And throughout my career, I've had fantastic players vying for that position, and uh, you've got to stay on top of your game. Obviously, you've got no chance of being in the squad, so I'm under no illusions that I've got to carry on playing well if I want any chance of being involved there. I think anyone uh, who's involved with England wants to start for England. Uh, that's probably the number one ambition. They do start to play really well and to uh, be part of a winning side. Uh, and with the club, the same goes. I just want to return to our winning ways. And two years without a trophy is enough. And I really want to put that right this year.